Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Today we're back with the Warriors of Chaos, gonna be taking on the Norskins, so let's get to the army composition here. This is actually one of my own replays once again, just on ladder, had some time to play a couple battles, so figured I would jump on and make sure my skills are staying fresh. So we've got a Chaos Lord up on a dragon here. He's got Foe Seeker, Pendant of Slanesh, and Deadly Onslaught, so we're going to stack some buffs there to give him lots and lots of melee attack, armor-piercing damage, extra speed, potentially. We've also got this uh, Chaos Sorcerer, uh, Lore of Fire here. He's got Cascading Fire Cloak and Burning Head up on the Manticore. Uh, the Burning Head, in, or sorry, the uh, Cascading Fire Cloak in particular will help buff even more uh, AAP and melee defense for the Chaos Lord, so we'll be able to get him up to some pretty insane stats with all those buffs. And of course, the Burning Head should be good against Light Norskin and Inf Infantry. We've got three groups of Marauder Horsemen with three Chaos Marauders up front, a couple Chaos Warriors, and the Mirror Guard in the center with two Chosen with Halberds. So one of the matchups where I think Chosen with Halberds are a very good choice. They'll just absolutely wreck Famir and most Norskan infantry without too much issue. Speaking of which, Norska's carrying, uh, we've got Throg here, and a Skinwolf Werekin. Three units of champions with a Frost Worm, a couple of Marauder Spearmen, and a Shaman Sorcerer Lord of Death with Spirit Leech and Fate of Buna. We've also got some Famir, uh, Famir with Great Weapons, and the Mist Stalkers. So without further ado, let's get the battle underway. And uh, one thing to note about the Frost Worm is it is weak to fire damage, baseline, as are many things on the Norskin roster, which is why I like to bring the Chaos Dragon in this particular matchup. Chaos Dragon, of course, does fire damage, and when we're combining it with that, that Lore of Fire Sorcerer, we can get Kindle Flame, stack it with all the other buffs, and just get to the point where we can do a ton of damage to, like, this Frost Worm, to Throg, some of these other targets here. You can see this Frost Worm as it's coming over. I'm going to take a nice angle of pursuit here and be able to catch it with the Dragon, get an attack there. I try and stall it with the Manticore here, and I'm going to go ahead and pop all these buffs. So if we go ahead and take a look here... This, uh, this Chaos Lord up to 101 speed, 98 melee attack, 71 melee defense, 742 total armor piercing damage, up oh, now up to 98 melee defense with the 68 charge bonus, and of course this guy is weak to fire. Unfortunately, he did slip our grasp just slightly there uh, before I was able to get too many attacks, so that Kindle Flame probably will wear off. Uh, before we can get into action here, you can see Throg pushing up in the front line. This uh, this uh, Frostworm is going to try and drop here, and it does look like, uh, unfortunately, that Kindle Flame did drop. Most of the buffs are still active, though, as we do get some hits there, and that, uh, that Frostworm starts to take an absolute beating here. Just getting pummeled by the Chaos Dragon and the, uh, the Manticore there, and yeah... That's a lot of resources down almost immediately. I'm going to go ahead and charge these Marauder Horsemen in just to block these Famir and these Spears from coming in and supporting this engagement. Famir with Grey Opens, of course, anti-large armor piercing, a very strong unit, certainly, and could get in here and do a lot of damage, but we are able to shatter that Frostworm. I'm going to try and get back up into the air. Unfortunately, I do take a few attacks from those Famir in the back, but we are able to get back up into the air. Oh, nope, looks like got staggered again, so, uh, yeah. Potentially rough, but now the Chaos Lord getting back up in the air. And next we're going to turn our attention to Throg with that, uh, that Fire Lord there. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and just pull back and wheel my forces around here a little bit. Uh, try and form up so that we're kind of using this terrain to secure the flank. And forming up maybe potentially on this high ground here to take a downhill engagement. But uh, Breath Attack there was a bit of a swing and a miss. Didn't hit Throg or that Werekin too much. It hit them both a little bit, but not a whole lot. But uh, Marauder Horseman going to be kind of used to pull these guys in different directions. You can see the Famir trying to follow up and just kind of uh, pulling my opponent's advance apart in different directions so that we can uh, get some favorable engagements. You can see a lot of discombobulation going on in my opponent's formation as units are getting pulled in different directions. But uh, eventually he is able to terrify away these uh, Chaos Marauders here with the Mist Stalkers. We're going to go ahead and start to move in infantry and start to isolate some different pockets here. Uh, like the Spearmen, for example, will probably get isolated by Chaos Warriors and Chaos Marauders out on the side. That being said, we are taking Spirit Leeches, though, so I'm, I'm, I'm on a bit of a timer here. So I'm going to bring this Chaos Lord in, pop that Cascading Fire Cloak, and uh, do a little bit of uh, Benny Hill music as 
Throg starts to get pummeled by the dragon, just pushing it away from support, and you can see just a couple of attacks there do about half Throg's HP and damage, and that's just with the Deadly Onslaught and the Cascading Fire Cloak there. Pendant of Slanesh does require you to be in melee to recharge, so it's a bit tricky if you're trying to go for more of a, you know, quick hit and run type Dragon Lord like this. Just about to dive down here with the Fire Sorcerer to decide that's maybe not the best idea. We do drop a Burning Head down the line though, and this is going to hurt the Norskins a lot more than it'll hurt the Warriors of Chaos because of the armor differential here, and uh, that is going to be able to route off those uh, champions there. Another Breath Attack, bit of a swing and a miss. Uh, Throg aptly dodging that, but he is kind of getting surrounded by Chosen with the uh, Halberds at this point, they're starting to push through the Norskin infantry. So uh, Throg and this uh, the Skin Wolf definitely don't want to be fighting Chosen with Halberds. They will do a lot of damage. And yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell what's going on with the uh, the Marauders and the, uh, the Chaos Warriors and everyone fighting. But uh, one more Spirit Leech on the Dragon Lord. I'm like, okay, we better come down and try and get another hit on Throg before he goes down. The Dragon Lord does go down, which is a bit unfortunate. Going to keep the balance of power pretty even all things considered, but the the uh, Fire Sorcerer is going to be able to stabilize the leadership here. Unfortunately, the, this unit of Chosen with Halberds has been, been getting ground down and a little bit surrounded here by champions, and uh, they get routed off, so that's pretty unfortunate. The Terror from the Mist Stalker is going to be pretty dangerous in this late game situation, as quite a few of these Chaos uh, units terrify away. That being said, the Norskin Infantry is getting very light. Most of the champions have been worked through, and I still have this more or less full group of Chosen with Halberds almost completely healthy moving in here to dispatch the Vermeer, so you can see them moving in heavy metal with their, <laughs> their Halberds, supporting the uh, Mirror Guard here, and starting to drag down some of those Vermeer. Oh man, it's uh, Buddy Boy's in trouble there, trying to get away, but looks like he's still alive for the moment, but yeah, the... Uh, the Shaman Sorcerer is significantly lighter and weaker than the uh, Chaos Sorcerer in melee, so I'm going to bring the Manticore down and start to munch on this uh, Sorcerer Lore of Fire here. He almost immediately gets terrified, which is great for me. I can take some free chunks out of him with the Manticore there. Meanwhile, we're kind of zoning out Throg and these other units um, in this other area. They look like they're trying to chase off some tattered units, potentially keep this balance power from tilting too far. But uh, taking out this Shaman Sorcerer will definitely help to the balance power more. We're also going to go ahead and drop, uh, looks like maybe another Cascading Fire Cloak. Not sure where that, oh, looks like I actually casted that on the wrong unit. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you can see the Chosen with Halberds here still just pushing through. Um, at this point, the Norskins mostly only have large units left. It's Throg and the Femir boys trying to push through. You can see they're not really wanting to just go straight in on the Chosen with Halberds, but they really don't have a whole lot of options left at this point. Most of the rest of the army is cleaned up. And it uh, looks like there is this one group of champions here. So we're going to fast forward a little bit as I reform my forces into a bit of a line here and allow the champions to just kind of charge in. Uh, I mean, we will take some damage from the 30 charge bonus there from the champions, but I wanted to make sure these guys are fixed in a nice straight line so that we can go ahead and just burn them out uh, with a nice burning head down the hill, uh, roasting out that line of champions, providing a nice leadership debuff. We're immediately going to charge in with the Manticore, see if we can't get a bit of a terror bomb here. And has it worked? Not quite yet. Uh, looks like those champions still holding, unfortunately. But uh, the Femir Warriors also blob in a little bit here. Well, speaking of blobbing, we're just going to go ahead and path in everything after them. And uh, they're soaked in with the Chosen with Halberds now. We go ahead and juice up with a uh, Cascading Fire Cloak, putting them up to 83 melee defense with 52 total weapon strength, 37 AP damage. And uh, yeah, with that... They are going to start to just cut through those Femir, the Champions route. At this point, it's just the Heroic units and Throg not being immune to Psychology. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring the Manticore around and drop a quick rear charge on him. And with the Terror route, we should be able to bring the cows home, as they say. Or uh, bring the Troll home, I guess would be a more apt term. But, uh, yep, Manticore charges in. And that's it for Norska, so... Very well played to my opponent. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that one. Uh, the Chaos Dragon, a little bit of a niche pick in certain situations. Certainly if you expect to be going up against high value targets that are weak to fire damage, like uh, for example Throg, or even against the Tomb Kings, this strategy can work relatively well. I have seen it work against Vampires as well, potentially, although it can be somewhat risky to try and go in the air against the Vampires. Um, you know, even trying to goon Morgur might work okay uh, with, with all that uh, massive 
you know, massive buffs and everything. But yeah, in this particular battle, ended up working out. Ended up working out well. We took out the Frostworm, did a ton of damage to Throg, and although the the Dragon Lord did get killed in the end, the uh, Fire Swords were able to carry the day and uh, keep the leadership together. Chosen with Halberds, of course, very very strong in this matchup. 30 kills, 2 XP chevrons for one of them. The other one did get stepped on a little bit there, but they did alright, all things considered. The Chaos Warriors and the Mirror Guard also doing very well. Just lots of heavily armored bodies can potentially be tough for Norse to deal with. Um, they do have plenty of tools, but uh, thankfully for me, the Famir were kind of getting uh, distracted in different directions by the uh, the Chaos Sorcerer Lord. And of course, the Chosen with Halberds are going to be a big, big pain for these Famir to deal with on any day of the week. I mean, maybe the champions and the familiar together, if you got the champions in front, maybe got them a nice buff, and then uh, maybe rear charge or something, but I didn't quite catch that. I, my opponent might have dumped a fate of unit into the, one of the units of Chosen with Halberds. I'm not 100% sure, but, I mean, that can do okay at taking out the Chosen with Halberds. You can potentially do, like, a bit of shades or something. So, uh, there are some tools you have magic-wise uh, for Norska to take out the Chosen with Halberds, but I find in general Norska, one of their bigger weaknesses, uh, just kind of as a rule of thumb, is elite tier Halberds. So, you know, you're Chosen with Halberds, your Phoenix Guard, Black Art of Nagarond, that sort of thing. Norska is not necessarily as good against those types of units, just because they don't have a lot of answers to them besides magic. But, uh, yeah, very fun battle, well played to my opponent. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that one. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.